Firstly, I'll draw out the three isomers in their skeletal formula. You can also draw them out in their full displayed formula, but I recommend skeletal because it saves you time in exams. When the question asks for the ratio of these three isomers, they're asking for the probability of these three isomers forming, aka how likely each of them are formed. So before the alkane isomers were substituted, the pentane originally has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hydrogen atoms attached to it, right? For 2,4-dibromopentane, in order for the two bromine atoms to be attached to the second and fourth carbon atoms only, the bromine atoms have 4 out of 12 hydrogen atoms to choose from. Hence, the probability of this isomer being formed is 4 out of 12. For 3,3-dibromopentane, in order for the two bromine atoms to be attached to the third carbon atom only, the bromine atoms have only 2 out of the 12 hydrogen atoms to choose from. Hence, the probability of this isomer being formed is 2 out of 12. Lastly, for 1,5-dibromopentane, in order for the two bromine atoms to be attached to the first and the fifth carbon atoms, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 out of 12 hydrogen atoms to choose from. So if we were to simplify the answer, our ratio will be 2 is to 1 is to 3. Still with me? Alright, let's take a look at the next question. So we know that before these compounds were substituted with bromine, there were originally 10 hydrogen atoms attached to it. So for the compound on the left hand side, in order for the bromine atom to be attached here, the bromine atom has 1, 2, and 3 out of the 10 hydrogen atoms to choose from, right? Wrong! Well, that's because you must remember that these molecules are in 3D, and even if the bromine atom is attached to the right horn, it is still the exact same thing once you spin it around. Hence, the bromine atom actually has 6 out of 10 hydrogen atoms to choose from, in order to give rise to this compound. So similarly for the compound on the right hand side, in order for the bromine atom to be attached here, we need to also consider that this bromine atom could also be on the left hand side of the molecule, so the probability will be 4 out of 10 hydrogen atoms. And after simplifying the ratio, the answer will be 3 is to 2. Last but not least, question 3. So there are two demands in this question. The first one being to draw all the possible products and the second one is to work out the ratio in which they are formed. So what I'll first do is draw out 2-methylbutane. Now, can you tell which are the carbon atoms that the single chlorine atom can target? The first one is right here at the end of the molecule, followed by this one, this one, and this one. But what about this one here? If you remember from the previous questions, we don't need to count this in as it will be the same as the one here if we spin it around in 3D. Hence, giving us only 4 different possible monochlorinated products. Now, you try to work out the ratios. And that leads us to the answer, 